guys, Aaron here, uh, and oh, sorry for the wobbliness, uh, I've got my phone propped up against my laptop screen to film this. Um, I've got to be careful with the, the volume here because of this room, I mean, it's a, it's a kitchen, but it's very, very echoey. Um, I'm over here uh, overseas in Italy on holiday at the moment, and this is kind of the first time I've had a chance to sit down in front of a camera for a very long time uh, and actually do some kind of video for you guys. Um, I might be able to see from my bags under my eyes, uh, poor Jensen hasn't been sleeping too well of late, um, not just from coming over here, traveling overseas, but uh, he's going through teething pretty badly at the moment, and so it's sort of a sleep is a bit hard <laughs> to come by at the moment. But um, anyway, I wanted to do some kind of an update for you guys. This year has been, you know, really tough trying to find time and get time to actually do a video. But uh, yesterday, I was had a bit of an afternoon free, and I was just browsing online, looking at sort of IT places over here in Italy that I might be able to go and check out and see what they've got and have a quick look around. Uh, and I came across this place called Draco IT. Um, I don't know whether this is forwards or backwards for you guys, the lettering, but Draco IT. Uh, and I thought, hey, let's go and check their website out. They're like a, just a normal modern online PC store. You know, I don't know if their prices are good or bad or whatever, but I just thought I'd have a quick look um, and see what they've got. And they have, uh, you know, all your modern hardware, Ryzen, Intel, etc. Um, but I really love these old places because they have a lot of, um, you know, like your, your new old stock. So some places like this that just never sold stuff from like 10 years ago where they might have, you know, one or five of like this certain, you know, thing that's irrelevant in modern day computing, but is really cool for retro computers. And I stumbled across a couple of items that I would like to share with you guys that I managed to find and actually go and pick up. So first one is this. Well, that takes up the whole screen, doesn't it? Is that? Oh, I really hope that's the right way around. I'm looking at my screen and it's backwards to what I'm looking at on the screen, which is a bit weird. But anyway, uh, it's the it's a Lampton fan controller and it's the CU uh, CU four three two. If you want to look that up, so uh, Lampton Lamptron, sorry, so L A M P T R O N uh, fan controller CU uh, four two three, otherwise known as a Robus. <clears throat> uh, but this has like it's really cool old school clock dial design. Uh, and it's kind of this amazing uh, looking fan. I love, I love my Bay devices, I'm a big Bay device fan, but I'm, I'm building a PC at home at the moment that I really want to use this with. And uh, I managed to pick this up pretty cheap. He had a couple of these left. So I picked up one, but then I also picked up, and I know there's a lot of haters of this brand out there, and I know a lot of their products do suck, but they make some really cool products that actually Kind of go well together with retro looking PCs if you kind of um, mod, mod them a little bit. And that's this. Uh, there you go. So it's from Aero Cool. It's the Cool Touch Dash E. Uh, cool Touch Dash E. So it's a little touch screen, again, Bay device, fan controller. Um, it's a black one, has a different color, I wouldn't call it RGB, but it has different colored. LCD display and it's fully touched, there's no buttons or anything on it. And I've been wanting to put together a sort of kind of steampunky kind of looking, uh, cyberpunky kind of looking retro PC and doing a bit of uh, modding on one of my retro uh, PCs at home, the uh, Lee and Lee one or, or maybe the, the older Chain Tech one. Not, not sure which one I'll end up using, probably the Leanne Lee one actually. And I've been wanting to go for this sort of mix of sort of a Star Wars-y red and black theme with um, maybe cyberpunky red, uh, black and green sort of theme. Not too sure yet, but I saw these and I was like, oh, these are perfect for that. Um, I've got quite a few Bay devices at home already, like your old Musketeer uh, and things like that. But I, most of the ones that I have at home are silver, not black. A couple of black ones, but not too many. But I saw these and were like, oh, these are perfect for what I want. So I'm gonna just unbox, we'll start with this one. This is probably the, the main one you guys wanna look at, at least, uh, and um, let's see what it looks like. Just... Oh God, that was loud. Hopefully that didn't bleed too many people's eardrums. And, ooh, oh wow, that's huge. Oh, that's also very heavy. Holy crap. 
this thing must weigh like two kilos. Look at how chunky that is. That's like solid brass in there with these big dials. Let's see if I can get them to move a little bit here. Whoop. Yeah, there you go. Kind of moving a bit. Man, this thing's... Whoa, it has a friggin'... Look at the power this thing takes. What? It's crazy. Oh, very solid, clicky buttons at the bottom. Metal, metal faceplate on the front, which is probably going to get fingerprints all over it. But man, is this thing heavy. Those dials are really retro looking. This does have a backlight, and I think it's just like a white backlight. Um, in some photos online, it looks like it's... Uh, what do you call it, like a, a warm coloured light um, and in other photos it looks like a, like a bright white LED light, I'm not 100% sure. Not sure. Um, so I'm, I'll have to, I, I can't test it until I get home unfortunately because I've got nothing over here to test it with. But um, wait, so it takes that pin plus a Molex I just noticed. Seriously? Oh, it also comes with a little Molex extension cable, that's kind of... These are really cool. Don't come. Okay, so this has all. Okay, so this is cool. Single plug, is it? Oh no. Okay, so they're they're temperature probes. It looks like a single plug, but it's actually not. It's a the four plugs that have been glued together to make a single plug. That's kind of neat. It's a bit easy to deal with. Uh, it also comes with a cleaning cloth. That's kind of cool. And then it comes with the fan extension cables. Uh, and thankfully, this is a company that does not use proprietary, which means that you can plug fans directly into this, the Aero Cooler that I'm about to show you, which I have a different version of this one, the E-Touch. I have a different uh, one at home that I used uh, on one of my other builds. Um, that one, Aero Cool, don't use, uh, they use either a proprietary connector, don't know why, uh, or they actually just solder See that yellow cable? That's the fan connectors there. And that's soldered onto the back of the PCB that's on this, which is a bit limiting, but in a, an old school retro PC where Molex is like the primary connector, it's not really an issue, um, at least for me. Oh, you can turn the, oh, I like that. You can turn the speaker on and off by removing or oh, moving the jumper on there. Man, this thing's pretty serious. It's so heavy. Oh my God. It's going to add so much weight to my luggage that we end up buying a heap of stuff and uh, stuff for Jensen, like toys and books and stuff in Italian so we can teach him. My wife's Italian, if, for those of you who don't, might not know, probably not why I'm randomly over here sitting in someone's random kitchen over here in Italy. Anyway, <clears throat> and just a manual, this one nothing too special. Screws. Plastic bag for it. But on this box, you might have noticed that it has a red LED background uh, on the LCD. Um, the reason that I got this is if you actually Google search this model number, which is the yeah, Aero Cool, Aero Cool, Cool Touch Dash E uh, fan controller, you might see some photos of it with a nice green color. It's like an aqua like an old school electronic, like a, you know how you have some like Casio watches and, and some watches that have like a, a, a nice aqua green uh, LED like backlight to them. This has that. Oh, random. Oh, there you go. Hey, Inception. <laughs> this is a really cool, um, this is plastic, so this was a lot cheaper, obviously, but yeah, so there you go. They connect everything with, uh, they have Molex and a, uh, a Molex and a, a fan header per, um, per fan with uh, Molex power as well. Uh, no temperature control on this one, but that's okay because that's not what I wanted it for. Um, but these these sort of uh, little bay devices and things like this that you can pick up on eBay really really cheap. These AeroCool ones are really nice for retro PCs. They're very slim and sleek, so when you're actually you know, building in a case that has like the old school door in front of it or something like that, um, you know it doesn't uh, protrude on the door like the uh, Antec Super Lamboy or those older um, the bigger like server cases like I have on on my 98 PC I was building with. Um, 
a lot of old fan controls have like your big chunky knobs sort of protruded too much and you can't shut the door on them. But uh, not only that, the Aerocool have actually done some quite nice little um, bay devices that, that have this really cool uh, aesthetic appeal to them that look really good in a retro PC. Like, you know, like a, you know, like your old school, you know, Yamaha and Pioneer, like um, uh, stereo amplifiers and things like that have like the cool green background and, and stuff like that. If you have a look around, you can get some really nice bay devices that, that are modern, but make an old school PC that, you know, you might have modded to put some more fans in, you know, things like that for, you know, cooling, you know, video cards and stuff like that. These are actually quite nice. And the fact that they have Molex and um, your three pin connector, means or technically there's a four pin connector so you can actually fit uh, PDO, uh, pwm fans on here as well which is kind of neat the last one i bought didn't have that it's just three pin um but yeah i, I buy a lot of uh or well, not a lot but i buy the majority of my fans for like 80 mil fans 92 mil fans and stuff for my builds i buy them off ebay um, because that's where you get the old school like quad led um you know fans and stuff like that's where i got the purple ones from but they are, those fans come with Molex rather than a standard fan connector. So having this is actually quite neat. And the fact that it's in a single ribbon cable means that you can also uh, just chuck a bit of um, uh, wiring loom on it, like your you know, UV wiring loom or something like that, and actually just you know, make it look really nice if you're modding like your old school computers like you do. So yeah. Thought I'd just share this quick little pickup video, I guess you can say. I love my bay devices. They are a dying thing these days because the form factor that they fit into is no longer existent. Um, you know, if I could uh, modify my um, current main PC to fit a bay device or two in there, I would. But unfortunately, the case that I'm using with all the water cooler and stuff, and it doesn't fit and anything like that in it. It's unfortunate, but there you go. Um, but yeah, the other thing, oh, it's bumping a bit. The other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about a little, a uh, little bit was the, you know, what's happening with the channel, um, what my plans are, obviously, you know, I keep saying in, in the last few videos, you know, I've got stuff I'm working on, I'm trying to do it, but I want to, I want to sort of get real with you guys a little bit. Um, this year has been so busy, uh, between work, stress at work, just, you know, stuff that obviously happens at a typical job. Um, and then obviously having Jensen coming along and, and being a father and all that sort of stuff has meant that I've just had not just, I've had some free time a little bit, but all that free time has been completely wanting to do other stuff. Um, it has been so hard to actually not just get motivated to do uh, retro videos and things like that, but it has just been uh, my priorities and, and my attention has been elsewhere you know spending time with Jensen or doing things around the house um, uh, you know baby proofing things like that so I do still have other stuff planned uh, I will get around to it. I've got so much stuff that I want to I want to eventually do um, it's just this sort of last 12 months has been so chaotic uh, so it's been such a big change uh, in my life that you know when I started the channel three years ago four years ago or started doing the retro stuff, I should say, um, I had much more time. You know, I was working a casual job at the time, not a full-time job. And so some weeks I had time free. Um, you know, I, some weeks I actually had like one day of work a week, unfortunately, due to the nature of the job that I was working at the time. And I could do two or three videos in a week. And then that's how I, you know, got really good at um, getting them out pretty consistently. Uh, then, you know, things changed with work and everything. And, and, uh, and, and home life and stuff, which meant that I just couldn't do that anymore. You know, I, I'd struggle right now to get a video out per month, uh, which is a little bit, little bit sad and it kind of sucks, but it's not going anywhere. The one thing that I would like to say is that if you like this sort of retro videos and the hardware and things like that, please follow me on Instagram. Just search my uh, Cutting Edge Retro on Instagram. I think my uh, Instagram is open to public, so if you want to just jump on and follow, I, every video card I get, every bit of hardware I get, I'm always taking photos and using that because it's so much easier for me to do like a, a little video or a little, um, you know, on the spot sort of photo of something that I've bought or collected or, or something like that and share it rather than 
go through the whole production process of doing a video and things like that. Who knows, if you guys like me doing this sort of video on my phone, um, this sort of very quick and dirty style sort of update vlog, I guess, or, or you know, video, um, I can do those as well on like sort of pickups and things like that. Um, but going through the whole, you know, rigmarole of setting it up at home, you know, my office at the moment is is an absolute, I don't want to say bombshell, but it's not, but it's, it's, it's just a mess of clutter of stuff at the moment. So I wouldn't even want to turn a camera on in there at the moment because of how um, cluttered it is with stuff. Uh, you know, three or four open builds and projects of stuff I'm working on. Um, but we're actually going to be moving house uh, when we get back from holiday. Um, our current rental lease is actually up and we're going to be uh, moving, which is really, really cool. And the idea of moving is one, we want to get a bigger house so that, um, you know, have more room for, for the family to grow, proper backyard, things like that, because we're living in essentially a townhouse at the moment, which is, uh, you know, great for my wife and I, but since Jensen's come along, even though he has his own room, there's just, it, we've outgrown that house within like two years, and it, we've been there for about five years, but the last two years we've kind of filled it with new furniture and all that kind of stuff, and we've just completely outgrown it. So we're moving house, and my plan is to have a proper room set up that's not a tiny little room in the house that my current one is uh, a proper like a bedroom sized room that I can actually have an office with a test space and a filming space so I can just leave the camera set up you know leave stuff set up so I can just you know come home from work one evening and film something or you know it's something that enables me to have less set up and, and take down time because right now to film a video I've got to clear off stuff to just set the tripod up somewhere like if I'm doing like a top down you know tear down on a, on a video card or something I've got two computers sitting on that top part of my my desk where I normally mount the camera so it's really difficult to do you know shuffle the room around to sort of do filming and stuff um, so yeah I, I'm enabling myself to do some uh, have a better uh, workspace set up so that I can just do some filming and stuff because I've got a lot of new, not a lot, but I've got quite a few new video cards and things, uh, just like a whole video for example, I've got a lot of stuff that I'd love to share with you guys in a, in a video or two that that's, should be a quick and easy video, I just haven't been able to do it, so anyway, this is a, a sort of a rambling catch up video and uh, I know probably 90% of you are probably already stopped watching it by now and be like, who's this guy, it's so boring, what are you doing, show me something interesting, um, that's fine. But for those of you who have been following me for a while, thanks for sticking around, I uh, can't believe I passed 2,000 subscribers not that long ago, um, I wish I was able to do something for that video, for that, uh, for that milestone and do a video or something, but I had no time to do anything, it's crazy, so um, yeah anyway thanks for watching guys and uh catch me in the discord i'll chuck the to our pixel talk discord i'll chuck a link in the video uh description and my instagram and that as well which i think is usually there anyway and um yeah see you guys uh and the next time i manage to turn on a camera at some point who knows i might have a bigger beard i'm trying to thicken it out a little bit using like beard oil and shit like that you know you guys aren't interested in that all right Peace out.